Tesla Cam. I hope you're satisfied. Martin was driving through a town when the car in front of him stopped at a crosswalk to let pedestrians pass. Because the roads were slippery, he'd been keeping a safe distance and managed to stop in time. Then he glanced in his rearview mirror. A Mazda driver failed to brake in time and swerved to the right to make space for a van that had locked up its brakes. Unfortunately, the van still slid into the back of Martin's Tesla. Martin says he felt the Tesla break by itself when he was hit, which prevented the car from being launched into the oncoming lane. Martin wasn't injured, so he got out of his car and rushed over to check on the van driver, who was also unharmed, but in shock. Martin tried to calm down the van driver, reassuring them that nobody was hurt, which was the most important thing. When Martin returned to his Tesla, he discovered that it was connected to emergency services through the speakerphone. The firefighters and police officers were impressed by how the Tesla's structural integrity and safety features affected the outcome of the crash. Later, while the car was being loaded onto a tow truck, a passing Tesla hater shouted, Ha ha, Tesla loser! The police responded by saying, Yeah, yeah, keep driving! and professionally keeping their other thoughts to themselves. Martin is currently waiting to hear whether his car will be totaled. The estimated repair cost is 31,500 US dollars. Martin wanted to give a shout out to Tesla Dave, a local Tesla repair shop run by his friend's father, which he found to be superior to other authorized third-party shops. Michael sent us this video of when his friend Jared stopped at a red light before being rear-ended by the driver of a green Chevrolet who then fled the scene. Michael submitted the video on Jared's behalf, who was living in his Tesla at the time of the accident. This collision has had a significant impact on Jared's life. Jared suffered a back injury and went to the hospital, but he's otherwise okay, according to Michael. As an Uber driver, the accident has significantly affected his income. Jared filed a police report and is waiting for more information. The police have not yet located the vehicle that caused the accident, so Jared is asking for help from viewers. The car had a Tennessee plate with number BMG6045, according to both the video and eyewitnesses. If you have any information about the accident or recognize the car, please contact us so we can pass the information on to Michael and Jared. The accident occurred on February 11th, 2023 at the intersection of Murfreesboro Pike and Aerospace Way in Nashville. Tennessee. Abram was driving his Model X with autopilot engaged in Katy, Texas when a group of middle schoolers threw water balloons at him. Abram's brother, who was with him in the car, found the situation hilarious. At first, Abram turned around and tried to find the kids, but he ultimately joined in on his brother's laughter. Adrian lost control of his Model 3 when he took a turn too fast in Rialto, California. The car hit the curb of a highway entrance, causing a wheel to become loose. Despite this, he drove the car back home and filed an insurance claim. The repair cost came to over 11,000 US dollars and repairs will take two months to complete. Adrian told us he's 19 and this is his first car. He's been watching our videos for over a year and was looking forward to sending us his own submission, but he didn't think it would be something like this. After a few days of snow and ice, roads were beginning to clear. Cameron was heading to work when a large chunk of ice flew off a truck about 10 yards ahead in the next lane. Cameron nearly hit the curb trying to avoid it while numerous alarms and safety systems activated. He believes that if he'd been behind the truck, his windshield would have been shattered. Wait, what was that running across the road in front of them? A wild boar? Oliver was driving his Model 3 near Cologne in Germany when he approached a big diesel pickup truck from behind. It was soon clear that the truck driver had been waiting for him to get closer. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, the truck driver started rolling coal on him. Oliver told us he thinks this is a common way for people to communicate their political views. I can already hear some of you typing. Before you tell us this wasn't done on purpose, check out how the driver repeatedly slows down before each fart cloud. Andrew was driving on a road where the right lane becomes a bus lane and other drivers must merge into the left lane. A Kia driver wanted to get in front of a Land Rover, but the Land Rover driver wasn't having it. 
They had a slow drag race before a BMW driver went to make a left turn but had to stop right in front of the Kia for pedestrians. The Kia driver didn't want to stop and swerved left to avoid T-boning the BMW, kissing the Land Rover instead. Both cars pulled over, but Andrew was in a hurry to get his kid to school, so he didn't have time to offer them his Tesla Cam footage. This emitter was driving his Model Y on his way to pick up groceries when a red car pulled out from a gas station and sideswiped a Subaru Impreza. The red car proceeded to hit a pickup truck, which almost crashed into our submitter. When he was heading back from the store, he saw firefighters had arrived at the scene. When Johnny got back to his car, he discovered a sentry mode event that had captured a man peering into his window and trying to open the car. Not much appears on the dark footage at first, but when he decided to walk around the front of the car, it set off the Tesla lasers, giving Johnny a clear shot of his face on the video. He contacted the police to file a report and also informed his apartment management in case they recognized the guy. Liudi's wife was driving his Model 3 one day when she was Honda bumped. The Honda driver fled the scene, but Liudi's wife immediately called the police and provided them with video evidence of the incident. The police were able to provide her with the other driver's information and insurance details. The Honda driver admitted fault once a claim had been filed, but Liudi has been waiting for over a month to get his Tesla repaired. Moro had parked his Tesla Model Y at a shopping mall in Portugal. When he returned to his car, he found a deep scratch on it along with this sentry mode footage. It seemed like the Vandal knew that the Tesla was recording and took precautions to remain anonymous. He avoided showing his face on the camera and looked the other way when passing by again. Moro called the police and filed an insurance claim and the cost of repairing the damage was estimated at about 425 US dollars. Colby was studying at a nearby coffee shop while his Tesla was charging at Whole Foods. When he returned to his car, he saw a shopping cart tipped over against his rear bumper cover. Upon reviewing his sentry mode events, he discovered footage of a person loading up his groceries and abandoning the cart on the sidewalk before leaving in his vehicle. The cart had left long scratches that damaged the paint of Colby's Tesla. Unfortunately, the other person's license plate was too blurry to read. Remember, you should always return shopping carts to cart corrals. Sonny was driving his brand new Model 3 home from the delivery center when an impatient Nissan driver overtook a line of cars on the shoulder. The Nissan sprayed rocks and debris all over Sonny's brand new Tesla. He sent the footage to the police, but they never got back to him. Larry sent us a video from his daughter's Model Y, which was parked in his driveway. This happened on January 27th, 2023 at around 6.48 p.m. Fortunately, there wasn't any damage to the Tesla. The police said they don't have the capability to enhance the video to read the license plate of the GMC truck, which fled the scene of the wreck after destroying a fence. If anyone recognizes the truck or has any more information about this incident, please let us know since Larry would love to have his fence rebuilt. This emitter was driving behind a car with the vanity license plate thorny when he noticed the muffler scraping along the road and throwing out sparks. A few minutes later, the car's muffler fell off, forcing our submitter to swerve to avoid it. He was able to get the driver to pull over and let them know what had happened, but they were not happy as they went back to collect it. Evan was driving his Model 3 in a 35 mile per hour zone with autopilot disengaged when he noticed a car not stopping for a stop sign out of the corner of his eye. Instead of slamming on the brakes, he accelerated, zooming by just in time. Evan says the Tesla took over to keep him on the road. Evan called the police and they asked him to visit the station and make a report. Since this happened only a block from his house, he has high hopes that he'll see them again and would love to show them this footage. Mark was on his way to work and canceled autopilot when he noticed a police car to his right. The police usually run radar from a highway overpass, so Mark drove past it normally before setting autopilot's speed to 85 miles per hour. What he failed to notice was that the police were right behind him. He'd been blissfully unaware of the police officer until he was right next to him. When the officer turned on his light, Mark quickly pulled over and slowed down to set his car to the right speed. He told us the rest of his drive to work was a lot more lawful. 
Zuni was driving down a road in Irving, Texas when a Mazda driver cut in front of him, causing him to swerve to avoid a collision. Unfortunately, since he has behavior-based insurance, this swerving affected his insurance premium, raising it from 100 to 150 US dollars per month. Wait a second. Why would making an epic evasive maneuver to avoid an accident, saving the insurance company a lot of money and hassle, result in a higher premium? More than four years after getting a Tesla, Brad's luck ran out during a trip to the grocery store when the cart demon attacked his rear bumper. The cart had been expertly aimed by the cart demon, triggering the car alarm. Brad received a notification on his phone and checked the Tesla app where he saw the cart firmly lodged against his Tesla's rear bumper. Brad wanted to give a shout out to his son Donovan and his uncle Stuart, both of whom have become addicted to watching our channel with him. Michael had been charging his Tesla at a level 2 charging station at Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey for about 15 minutes when he received a notification on his Tesla app that charging had stopped. Speaking of notifications, are you subscribed to our new channel Wham Bam Security Cam yet? Be sure to turn on upload notifications as we'll be uploading a new episode every week.